that's working now, Ted. <laughs> it's broken again. Maybe it only works when my head is in it. <laughs> Ted, we should call the plumber. No, no, I don't want to get them involved. <laughs> Anyhow, I'd be too embarrassed to tell them how I broke it in the first place. You know, trying to give it an extra hard flush. <laughs> well, now, Ted, I have to say it was fine for me. It was a good, powerful flush, I thought. Yeah. I was thinking more about Jack. You know what it's like when he's involved. You want to get that stuff away as fast and as hard as possible. <laughs> The best thing would be for us to flush it here and have it pop up somewhere in Sierra Leone. <laughs> oh, you're right there, Ted. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> I thought Jack had stashed something in here. <sighs> OK. Let's try it now. Good news, Ted. No. <laughs> very, very bad news. It's the Holy Stone of Clon Rickert. They're going to upgrade it to a Class II relic. Great! No, it's not great. It means they'll be sending over a few bishops to do a ceremony. And you know what they're like. We'll have to be on our best behaviour. I thought there was something up with the Holy Stone, all right. Wasn't someone cured there? No, someone was lured there. <laughs> Paddy Short. And then those fellas started to beat him with the sticks. Oh, that was it, yeah. The Holy Stone. It must be even holier than we thought. Perhaps it's something to do with that fella from England last year. He touched it and he grew a beard. Wow, <laughs> that's weird. That'd be nearly enough to upgrade it to a Class 1. Oh, Class 1 would be very rare, Dougal. That would be bringing people back to life. Time travel, cloning dinosaurs. <laughs> very rare. But there must be millions of relics all over the world. How do they know which ones to do? Well, there's all these things they have to think about. The history of the relic. How many miracles can be attributed to it? All sorts of considerations go into a decision like that. What about the Holy Stone of Con Rickard? Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> ah, come on, Ted, cheer up. It may never happen. Well, it is happening. They're definitely coming. All right, yeah. But who cares anyway? I mean, they come in, they strip down the wallpaper, they fumigate the place, and they're gone. What's so bad about that? <laughs> Dougal, they're bishops. All oh, right, yes. <laughs> Dougal, what is this confusion you have about bishops? Do you actually understand what they actually do? <laughs> Nothing to do with fumigating houses or anything like that at all. <laughs> have you got that? Got it. Anyway, Ted, let's play a game. Get your mind off it. Chess or buckaroo? Uh... <laughs> actually, I wouldn't mind a game of the old chess today myself. Really? <laughs> No, only joking, Ted. Book a room. <laughs> but only if you're ready for a good trashing. Dougal, you've never actually beaten me, ever. All right, yeah. <laughs> Still, eh? Book a room. The sport of kings. <laughs> I suppose it won't be so bad. The bishops will have a look around and see that we're a normal, everyday parish and go away. Nothing to worry about at all. Watch the sports video. Oh. oh, yes. Come on, Ted. Ah, here's the lads. And away they go. <laughs> oh, look at your man at the back. <laughs> oh, this is oh, here's the I big jump. I remember this. Oh, okay. oh, 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 look at Mrs. Dial. Oh. Doesn't she look great on the telly? She's wearing the hat full of bet. <laughs> I'd say so. Oh, here's Buck and Bronco. Oh. <laughs> Oh, uh, hop along, Cassidy. <laughs> oh, here's the champ. Uh, he, oh, no, look. Fair play. Fair play, oh, fair play to him. Well. Fair play to him. Hey! Hey! <laughs> what are we watching? We're looking at the sports day. Lots of young fellas running around in shorts. That's the kind of thing you like looking at. And I bet you like that, too. 
Well, you're probably imagining what they'd look like without shorts. You're sitting there, imagining that, with a big smile on your face, you dirty fecker. <laughs> Father Stack, if you're trying to embarrass us, you're not succeeding. Yes, I am. <laughs> well, I have to say, I think that you're a very rude man. If you ever say that to me again, I'll put your head through the wall. <laughs> Dougal, where did you go to? Ted, how are you? <laughs> Dougal, what the... Guess what, Ted? What? What? Dougal, have you been drinking? I have, Ted. I've been drinking like a mad idiot. <laughs> No, no, wait, wait. <laughs> no, I haven't. <laughs> Dougal, I'm ashamed of you. Ted, 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 Ted. Come here, Teddy, Teddington. You're my best friend. God, I love being a priest. <laughs> We're all going to heaven, lads. Way. Perhaps I should explain. Your little friend and I were enjoying ourselves with a bottle of whiskey I found upstairs. Oh, well, that is the last straw. I'm driving, I'm driving home, I'm perfectly careful. <laughs> By the way, I got the keys of your car and I drove it into a big wall. If you don't like it, tough. I had my fun and that's all that matters. Ted, I can see up your trousers. Right, well, that's it. I thought giving alcohol to Dougal was the last straw, but I must have been wrong. It must have only been the second last straw because this is definitely the last bit of straw left in the, the, the thing. Basically, what I'm saying is there is no more straw left. Ted, it's a little late. Yes, I really think we should go. No, you don't have to go. I think we should. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, girls. <laughs> Pair of wankers. Oh, right. That's it. That's done. Come on, do it. I think we've had quite enough of Father Stack's company for one evening. To the boat, Ted. <laughs> Tell me your name yet, Father. Him. Be yourself. Right. Uh. <laughs> Father Dougal Maguire. All right. This is a great house. I really love the crude religious imagery. Yes, I like it. Are you all right there? <laughs> How's your bra? What? Your bra. Is it comfortable? Do you have a bra? <laughs> it's not too tight, is it? Because <laughs> you can loosen it if you want. <laughs> Take it off, sure, go on. <laughs> or would you like some tea? I'll tell you what, I'll make the tea and you take your bra off. <laughs> oh, I... Isn't that Bob Geld off there? No, I didn't. Hold a second. Tis, you know, he's looking a bit rough. I should have lost all his money in that live air thing. Well, I'm not sure if it is, Bob Geldof. Hang on there a second. Excuse me, are you... Back a... off! He's <laughs> himself, all right. And now, walking. Oh. Look at them there, walking around. Look out there, Mary. Doesn't Mary have a lovely bottom? Careful there, Ted. That might offend the girls. Rightly. Of course. They all have lovely bottoms. <laughs> Actually, um, Mrs. Doyle is the one who makes the tea and she's out. <laughs> Why don't you just make the tea? But uh, Mrs. Doyle makes the tea. Anyway, I'd better just tell you the reason I'm here. I'm looking for a house around the area and I really, really like this one. I'm sorry, Joan. Your sandwich 
exceeds the required six centimetres in width, and that means it's between Amelda and Mary in the lovely laugh tiebreak. <laughs> In order to hear your lovely laugh, I'll have to tell you a joke. So here we go. This is my Robin Williams impression. Okay, here we go. This is the joke now, okay? Secretary. Sir, the invisible man is in reception. Got that? Boss, tell him I can't see him. <laughs> I think I have to say Amelda's laugh is nicer. I'm sorry, Mary. That means Amelda is the winner. <laughs> Your certificate of loveliness, and of course, you'll be going to dinner tomorrow in Craggy Island's top seafood restaurant, the Thai Cottage. And uh, who will you be inviting to dinner? I'll be bringing my mother. Okay, just have another go at that, Amanda. <laughs> oh, yes, I'll be inviting you, Father. Yes, you will! <laughs> and you'll be playing. It's not me, it's not me who pays. <laughs> so there she is, the winner of our lovely girl 1996, it's Amanda! <laughs> <laughs> There you are, Ted. How does the lovely girls' competition go? Brilliantly well, and as is the tradition, I get a free dinner tomorrow night. Great. Is Jack with you? Oh, God, Jack. Wow. You really knocked Michael Hutchins unconscious. I battered him! <laughs> anyway, anything happened while I was away? No, nope. can't think of anything anyway. Oh, you won uh, Neve Connolly called. Neve Connolly? What did you say to her? Oh, don't worry, Ted. It was fine. I just took your advice about talking to girls and it was grand. She's upstairs now. Sh she's still here? Yeah, actually, I think she's in the toilet. Oh, hello again. Um, I was just telling Ted you were in the toilet. <laughs> hello there. <laughs> Father Ted Crilly. You must be Miss Connolly. <laughs> oh, I suppose that's sexist now, to call a young lady Miss. I'm sorry. It's too late for me to change my ways. You can't teach an old dog new tricks. <laughs> well, it's, it's getting kind of late. All right, well, I, I won't keep you. Bye, Saul. Bye. Goodbye, Father. Yes, goodbye. <laughs> oh, Ted, uh, that's the other thing. I, I sold Neve the house. What? <laughs> Actually, I, I just gave it to her. <laughs> what? You... Wait a minute. Neve's going to turn it into a studio. She said we can have all the recording time we want. Wait now, wait now. You gave her the house. I mean, how... Ted, wait a second. Where are we going to live? So who does he make pregnant but the babysitter? <laughs> so now he doesn't know whether to stay with the wife, the sister, or run off with the babysitter. <laughs> and when's his next confession? Tuesday. <laughs> I'll keep it posted. Anyway, I'm really looking forward to this. Ah, uh, me too, Ted. It's great to take a day off every now and again. It shouldn't be just work, work, work now, should it? Yes, it's not as if everybody's going to go and join some mad religious cult just because we go out for a picnic for a few hours. God, Ted, I heard about those cults. Everyone dressing in black and saying our Lord's going to come back and judge us all. <laughs> no. No, Dougal, th th that's us. That's Catholicism we're talking about. All oh, right, right. Right, here's the sandwiches for the picnic. The rest are in the kitchen. Great. I hope you enjoyed them, Father. Oh, I love a sandwich from time to time. It doesn't matter what flavour it is, just as long as it isn't egg, because you know how much I hate egg, Mrs Doyle. God, <laughs> even the smell of them brings me out in a terrible rash. I tell you, I wouldn't eat an egg sandwich if you paid me. They're horrible, stinking, smelly things, as I told you before. Do you remember me tell you earlier, Mrs Doyle, anything except egg, and how I wanted anything at all, just as long as it wasn't egg? They're egg, aren't they, Mrs Doyle? Yes. <laughs> Great. I eat them, Mrs Doyle. I love egg. Sometimes I think I like egg so much that one day I'm going to turn into a big giant egg. <laughs> I think that process has already begun. <laughs> Sorry, Ted. No, nothing, nothing, nothing. Um, so, ready? Oh, ready as I'll ever be, Ted. I don't think I've ever looked forward to anything as much as I've looked forward to this picnic. Right, so? <laughs> oh, wait, Ted, I, I just remembered. I can't go. <laughs> How are you? It's Dougal, then. <laughs> Hello, Father. Ah, hello, Sergeant. Just doing the rounds. <laughs> On the trail of some crazed murderer, no doubt. What was that? Sorry? Something about a crazed murderer. Where? When was this? <laughs> no, I, I was only joking. All oh, right. But if you ever hear of a crazed murderer on the loose report, it'll give me something to do, you know. Right. It's very quiet here, you know, not much crime. It is, yes. So if you hear of anything, you know, a car wrongly parked. Anything. <laughs> Tax up to date on that car. Uh, it is, yes. Yeah, I thought it might. Bye, Sergeant. What was 
that young priest, Father? Hmm? Oh, I don't know. So, Father Maguire isn't going on the picnic, then? No, never mind. Uh, I'm meeting Larry Duff and a few of the lads from St. Columns. Better give them a call and make sure they know where they're going. All egg, yeah? Yes. <laughs> Where's Father Jack, Dougal? Where's Father Jack? Yes. <laughs> Father Jack, where is he? He's in his... Oh, um... <laughs> You've lost him again, haven't you? I have, Ted, yeah. <laughs> you took him out for a walk and you lost him again. That must have been what happened all right, yeah. <laughs> so, what have you got to say for yourself? Well, Ted, like I said the last time, it won't happen again. <laughs> Dougal, are you not going to go and look for him? Ah, Ted, he'll come back on his own. Sure, what's the worst that can happen to him? Well, he could have an accident and be killed. Oh, right. <laughs> uh, wait a second, Ted. Is that not Jack there? <laughs> ah, Dougal, you didn't even get him out the door, did you? <laughs> oh, I thought the wheelchair felt a bit lighter today, all right. Too. Come on, help me get him up. Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> Dougal, take off his gloves there. Right so, Ted. Ted. Mm. Ted, they're not gloves. <laughs> God, they're very hairy hands altogether, aren't they? <laughs> what do you think is wrong with him? I don't know. God, do you remember the time his head went septic? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I mean, I didn't think a whole head could go septic. You know? I mean, a whole head, you know? <laughs> Oh, but that's Jack for you. Anyway, I better look in the book. <laughs> right. Ah, yeah. Hold his hand up there, Dougal. Well, he got up to stage four after drinking that brake fluid the last time. I think this could be a stage six. Hello to the lot of yous. Hello, Mr. Hello, Doyle. Mrs. Doyle. And would you look at him there with his hairy hands? <laughs> yes, sir. We're going to have to call Dr. Sinnott. He'll know what to do. I had to go to him myself a couple of weeks ago. Really? Oh, I didn't know you were ill. Uh, what was the trouble? Well, it was a bit of a woman's problem. I was having a bit of trouble. Right, I better ring before it's too late. Right, so it's the hairy hands. Yes. A stage six. It looks like it, yeah. I'll get ready upstairs. Ted, why is Jack so scared of doctors? Well, I, I, I think they remind him of illness. He doesn't like to think about his own mortality, you know. That's why he always hated visiting the sick. <laughs> oh, God, yeah, he hates the sick. And the poor. <laughs> he hates the poor as well. Oh, the poor really got on his nerves. Yeah. And the needy. <laughs> them as well. What was it he used to say about the needy? He had a term for them. Uh, a shower of bastards. That was it. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, Dougal, when we bring the doctor in, just behave completely normal. Just pretend like he's a normal visitor. We don't want Jack to suspect that anything's up, okay? Right. right, doctor. Ready to go in? All right, in you go. Remember. <laughs> completely normal. <laughs> so it's off to St. Clabberts again, doctor. Yes. And the way I see it, it's more for your sake than for his. That hair thing can be very contagious. <laughs> How long do you think they'll have him? Hard to say. Could be for a while. Actually, Father, you should be prepared. It might be better for his own sake if he doesn't come back. Great! I mean, no, no. <laughs> we'll just have to go and bear it, I suppose. I'll try and break it to him gently. Thanks, Doctor. Father Jack, <laughs> do you remember that great time you had at St. Clabberts? <laughs> remember all the fun you had with those nuns fussing about you? Hmm? <laughs> well, Dr. Sinna thinks another spell there would do you a world of good. <laughs> OK, it might mean giving up the odd glass of sherry or two, but sure, that's all for your own good. <laughs> I think you'll have a fantastic time. It'll probably be just one big laugh with all those nuns fussing all the time. Father! Father! Where, where's he gone? Hey. 
Drink! It's not drink, Father. It's just fizzy water. Jacob's Creek Chardonnay, 1991. <laughs> Tell that just from the sound. Drink! 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 Father, I was thinking of going on a little picnic. Uh, on my own. Outside. You wouldn't like it, Father. You'd be much happier here. I mean, you'd... I mean, that is, they'd... I... I know, thanks, Father Leonard. What time's your tea ready? Frosty usually has it about six. No? Who? Frosty. Father Frost. Oh, wow. Frosty. Brilliant. <laughs> what do you call your fella? Who, Ted? Yeah. Oh, just Ted. But it's the way I say it, you know. He's an awful idiot, isn't he? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Which one do you prefer? Oasis or Blur? Blur. <laughs> what? Oasis, I, I mean Oasis. Father Alien, your tea is ready. It'll be in the <laughs> Great, here we go. are you doing here? This is my fucking spot. Get the fuck off. Hit him, Frank. But there's lots of room. Could you not go over there? No fucking way. F-U-P-O-F-F. -F. Yeah, fuck off. We come here every fucking Sunday. But this is Saturday. Hit him, Frank. I'll hit him for you. He fucking one too, and so would all you fucking bastard. Why are you talking like that? <laughs> fuck off, you... Grasshole. But I don't see that's fucking it! I'm calling a fucking man! Hey! 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 What's the problem now? Listen! This Baxter priest is in our spot! <laughs> we were just put the fork down! What? Oh, I wasn't good. Reach inside my pocket, all right? Nice and slow. Everything's fine. You get it? To be honest, I'm just going home. So, fuck off, you pedophile! All right, come on, come on, come on! Nothing to see here. Come on, back to the picnic. Nothing to see here. Cross. What's that all about? Yes, well, I thought people might have been confused about where the parochial house is, so I thought I'd put a big cross up in the middle of the garden. Just hope they know it means I'm a priest and not some madman. <laughs> <laughs> some madman's put up a cross. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> Ted, I'm off rollerblading. All right, Dougal. Hello, Craggy Island Parochial House, Father Ted Crilly speaking. Hello, Ted. Dick Byrne here. Oh, Dick. Well, Ted, I just thought I'd give you a call and wish you all the best for Lent this year. What? Oh, yeah, Lent. Uh, what are you giving up? Being the biggest idiot in the priesthood? <laughs> Seriously, Ted. If we could just put joking aside for a minute. Lent is a solemn time of year. I know we've had our disagreements in the past, Ted, but at the end of the day, we are both brothers in Christ. Oh, so anyway, over here, we decided we'd make a special effort this year. I've given up cigarettes. 
Father Johnson is giving up alcohol, and Father Macduff is giving up skateboarding. <laughs> and I must say, the atmosphere of serenity and devotion to our Lord in the parochial house this year is very, very special indeed. Right. <laughs> so what about it, Ted? Will you make a similar effort? Will you join us, Ted? Will you go the extra mile this year? I, I suppose you're right, Dicker. I suppose we should make a special effort. It'll be worth it, Ted. God bless you. Goodbye, Dick, and, um... God, God bless you, Dick. <laughs> so, that's it. I'm giving up the fags. Father Jack, I think you can give the old drink a miss. And no more rollerblading for you until Easter, Dougal. Easter's miles away. It is, but it wouldn't be a sacrifice if it was too easy, would it? And don't forget why we're doing this. I know, I know, because of the sacrifice our Lord it's made. It's much more important than that. I'm not going to be beaten by Father Dick Byrne in a giving things up competition. <laughs> and that's what this is, a giving things up competition. We've got to show him what we can do, especially after that Scrabble fiasco. <laughs> You've never told us what happened there, Ted. Oh, he... I don't know how he did it. He, he must have cheated, he must have. But he got all his words to say... Useless priest can't say mass. <laughs> so, right, we got that? No more fags, rollerblading, or booze until Easter. Understood? All right. Who wants their afternoon drink? Drink? Oh, yes! <laughs> no. No! No, Father, it's Lent. Remember, you said you'd give it up for a couple of days. What? I did not remember. You said you'd offer it up for our Lord. Arnold? Who's Arnold? <laughs> no, our Lord. I suppose I made your vow for you, but I know that deep down inside you'd like to make a little sacrifice. Sacrifice? Art! <laughs> it's a very special time of the year for all of us. Drink! Drink! You won't find any there, Father. I've put them somewhere very safe. Where? <laughs> Don't sulk, Father. <laughs> Here we go. No more fags for me now until Easter. No problem there at all. <laughs> God Almighty, I don't even miss them at all. This is easy. <laughs> yes, I'm not even thinking about smoking. Not even thinking about it. It's beginning to kick in, Ted. <laughs> yeah, I know, me too. God, this is terrible. I don't like this at all. Maybe we should stick with it, though, Ted. I mean, we've come through worse together. And don't forget Dick Byrne. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. Don't you think so, Ted? Hmm? Oh, I certainly do, Dougal. Absolutely. How are you doing, Father? You all right there? Do you want me to blah, 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 blah? Blah, blah. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. Father, father, is he all right? I think he's uh, just circling the airport. <laughs> Better get that. Are you all right there, Dougal? What? Oh, yes. <laughs> anyway, what time are Father Rory and Father Ken coming on Wednesday? About six. Six o'clock? <laughs> Actually, it's just as well Jack's not here. He can get very irritable around strangers. That was the thing about Jack. Very bad around strangers. And people he knew. <laughs> yes, very bad around strangers and people he knew. <laughs> anyway, night, Dougal. Night, Ted. <sighs> oh, damn. <sighs> oh. No, no, Dougal, it's not morning. I just switched on the light again to wind the clock. <laughs> All right. Sorry about that, Ted.
Hello there, uh, Father. Uh, Father, who are you? Who are you? Uh, Father Ted Crilly. Very pleased to meet you. Oh, <laughs> what's this? Oh, I see, it's from the bishop. Right. Ah, I see you're taking Father Jack's place. <laughs> well, this is a surprise. Has Mrs. Doyle shown you around the house? <laughs> well, uh, anyway, welcome to Craggy Island. The meals are at 11, 1, half 2, 3, 5, 7 and 9. And if you ever want a quick snack, uh, you can just ask Mrs. Doyle there. <laughs> no, uh, no, actually, that, that's, that's actually mine. <laughs> well, you, you go ahead there and have it anyway. <laughs> Dougal, uh, this is uh, Father Finton Stack. He'll be staying with us now that Father Jack's gone. All oh, right, uh... This is the brains of the operation. Uh, no, that'll be Ted. <laughs> I want to listen to some music. Oh, go ahead there. I wasn't asking for permission. So, um, what do you think of Father Stack? Well, um... It says in uh, his note from the bishop that they, um, they never really found a suitable parish for him. He's not a very nice man, is he? God, Ted, I've never met anyone like him anyway. Who would he be like, Hitler or one of those mad fellas? <laughs> oh, worse than Hitler. You wouldn't find Hitler playing jungle music at 3 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> God, he, he almost makes Jack seem normal. <laughs> you know, he nearly does. <laughs> right, carry on. <laughs> what I was going to say is, you'd almost sort of miss Father Jack, wouldn't you? He had his funny little ways. But, you know, whenever he'd hit you or whatever, he'd never do it out of spite. He'd only do it because, you know, he, he thought it was funny or whatever. <laughs> I suppose when you think about it now, it, it was sort of funny, wasn't it, Ted? <laughs> Remember that time he gave you a big kick up the B O T T Y? <laughs> <laughs> and you remember, Ted, you remember when you were uh, bending over him yeah. and, uh, <laughs> yeah. and he oh. held your nose uh, so tight that you had to open your mouth and then he dropped a big spider in it? <laughs> no, that wasn't funny, Dougal. <laughs> it was funny when he kicked you up the arse. <laughs> funny when you put the spider in my mouth. That was Ted. No, it wasn't Dougal. <laughs> ah, Ted. Dougal. Anyway, he's gone now. It's funny how you, you know, you miss someone's little ways. Tea, fathers. No, thanks, Mrs. Doyle. What do you think of her? Yeah, right. Are you sure you won't have a cup? It's a prize in our big raffle. Right, just the drop in your hand, then. Go on inside, Mrs. Doyle. I'll take the tray. All right, Father. I'll put the kettle on in case you want some more once you get in. Oh, God, Ted, look at that. There's a dent in the car. What? There's the dent. Just there, Ted. God, how did that happen? It must have been when you hit that fellow on the bike. Don't let that anyone do. He was all right anyway. I saw him getting up. Not too bad. Sure, you can just straighten that out with the tap of a hammer. Uh, have a look in that box over there. Whoops! <laughs> Didn't mean to do that. I'll just tap it the other way. <laughs> it's no use, Ted. You'll never get it absolutely right. I had it there a while ago, you know. She's looking all right. I'm like a knee to keep banging away. 
You're a perfectionist head, you know. It's not too bad. Let's have another look. No, no, we can't give that away as a prize. Look, Ted, why don't you sleep in it? See how you feel in the morning. Maybe you're right. I probably needed that. <laughs> but uh, don't ever do it again. Now, what are we going to do? We could run away. <sighs> no, they just find us again. They always do. All right. All right. <laughs> what about that other fellow that has the car? Uh, the dancing priest? Finnegan. Yes, and it'll be the same type of car and everything. How could we get him to give it to us? Maybe... Maybe we could just get a lend of it. Ah, but when somebody wins it in the raffle, they won't want to give it back. Now, Dougal, this is going to sound very, very immoral, but um, stay with me. <laughs> what if... What if we organised the raffle so that we won it? Then we could bring the car back. Oh! <laughs> oh, that'd be terribly wrong, Ted. I don't think we should do that. It wouldn't be cheating, really. It would just... It would just be a case of structuring the raffle in such a way that the return comes to the benefactors rather than the beneficiaries. Mm hmm. Dougal, seriously, listen. If Bishop Brennan finds out that we wrecked the car, he will kill us. And murder is a terrible, terrible sin, Dougal. <laughs> so, by committing this little sin, we'll actually be saving a bishop's soul. <laughs> Fair enough, then, Ted. <laughs> right, Father. Now, we're going to have a little elocution lesson. Drink! <laughs> now, Father, you can't be saying that all the time when the bishops come here. Fake! No, you can't say that either. Girls! <laughs> look, Father, just let's go back to uh, drink for the moment. Drink! Right, now, I want you to have a look at this. Have a go at the first one here. That. Drink! No, no, no. <laughs> that. Drink! Now, come on, Father, concentrate. That. Drink! 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 Now, come on, now, Father, I know you can do it. There'll be a little drink in it for you if you do it. Drink? Yes, I promise. Now, come on, try again. That. Drink! Come on, now, Father, you almost had it. That. That's great! That's brilliant, Father! Let's keep it going here on the next one. That wound! That wound! Drink! Uh, Mrs Doyle, uh, you left the cooker on. All right, Father, I'll be there in a second. <laughs> Right, Father, everything's ready. There's a big vat of tea steaming away, and I've arranged the Ferrero Rocher in a big triangular pile. <laughs> oh, God, Father, I'm so excited. Taking on three bishops all at once. Oh, I can't wait. Right. You know, Father, I think this is going to be the greatest moment of my career. It's almost as if my whole life was leading up to this uh, moment. Mrs Doyle, uh, Mrs Doyle, I'm over here. <laughs> So you are, Father. Mrs. Doyle. <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. Doyle, have you got your contacts in? No. A dog ran off with them. <laughs> I thought I'd get away with it, but I suppose I'll have to wear the glasses. I don't like wearing them, Father. I feel they make me look like a frustrated old bag. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't imagine that. I imagine they look absolutely... <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, Father, are they that bad? No. No, no, uh, it's just a, a scary film I was thinking of. <laughs> They're fine, really. Great, well, uh, that's much better. Um, I'll just go and check on the tea, so... <laughs> Father? Mm? Father, I have absolutely no idea where the door is. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, listen, I'll, I'll have to ring you back. What's up with him, Ted? <laughs> it looks like the last of the alcohol has left his system. I think he might actually be sober. Is that it, Father? Are you seeing things as they really are at last? Oh, my God! <laughs> That's it, all right. I suppose sobriety for Father Jack must be sort of like taking some mad hallucinogenic. Where are the other two? <laughs> the other two? <laughs> ah, I see. The old vision is back to normal. No, there's just the two of us, Father. And what do you two do, then? We're priests. What? Priests? Don't tell me I'm still on that feckin' island! <laughs> well, well, yes, yes, Father. Uh, how do you feel? Uh, must be great to be sober every once in a while, or even every 12 years. Cheer! <laughs> well done, Father. <laughs> Curtains! Yes, that's right! Floor! <laughs> All coming back to you, is it, Father? <laughs> Gobshite! <laughs> yes! I remember! I remember! I'm off on my Lenten pilgrimage now, Fathers. Oh, off to St. Patrick's Hill. What's that, Ted? Oh, it's a big mountain. You have to take your socks off when you go up it. And once you get up at the top there, they chase you all the way back down with a big plank. <laughs> it's great fun. <laughs> I don't want it to be any fun at all, Father. I want a good, miserable time. Keep me on the straight and narrow. I met a couple there last year, and it did them the world of good. They were a bit obsessed with the old S-E-X. God, I'm glad I never think of that type of thing, Father. That whole sexual world. God, when you think of it, it's a dirty, filthy thing, isn't it, Father? <laughs> Can you imagine, Father, looking up at your husband and him standing over you with his lead in his hand, <laughs> wanting you to degrade yourself? God almighty, can you imagine that, Father? <laughs> can you picture it there, Father? Oh, get a good mental picture. <laughs> Can you see him there, ready to do the business? Doorbell! Doorbell, Mrs. Doyle, the doorbell! Hey, 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 you there! What the hell is this? Uh, it's a spoon, Father. Come on, she'll be here. Might as well go near her. Hello there. Ah, Sister Assumpta! Hello, Father. <laughs> Dougal, Dougal, do you remember Sister Assumpta? Ah, uh, no. <laughs> she was here last year. And then we stayed with her in the convent, back in Kildare. Do you remember it? Ah, you do. <laughs> and then you were hit by the car when you went down to the shops for the paper. You must remember all that. And then you won £100 with your lottery card. Ah, you must remember it, Dougal. And weren't you accidentally arrested for shoplifting? <laughs> I remember we had to go down to the police station to get you. And the police station went on fire? <laughs> and you had to be rescued by helicopter? Do you remember? You can't remember any of that. Huh? The helicopter! When you fell out of the helicopter! Over the zoo! Do you remember the tigers? <laughs> you don't remember! Uh, you were wearing your blue jumper. Ah, Sister Assumpta! Hello there! Hello. <laughs> I have to say, I had no idea, Sister Assumpta, that you were with the Matty Hislop crowd. Oh, yes. Ever since I read his pamphlets, Abstinence has been both my keeper and my reward. Yeah, great. Well, anyhow, all we want is the basic 50 quid job, the bare essentials. Keep us off the booze and fags and uh, the rollerblading. I'm afraid the rollerblading is my own particular vice. Oh, well, we'll do our best. I'm looking forward to it. You know, I sort of am myself. <laughs> do us good to exercise the old willpower. What about you, Father Jack? Are you looking forward to it? Uh, you remember Father Jack, don't you? Oh, yes. <laughs> Nan! No, it's none. None! Ah! Hi, Father. Uh, he's just gone for his walk. <laughs> right, Dougal, come on. You can't sit watching television all night. It's a big waste. Chewing gum for the eyes. Uh, no, thanks, Ted. <laughs> anyway, I've got these crisps here. Look, Ted, this is what I do. 
I get a cheese and onion one and a salt and vinegar one and I eat them in the same go. <laughs> that leak is getting worse, Dougal. I think we'll have to move himself and put that bucket under it. Right, fair enough, Ted. I'm a happy camper! <laughs> God almighty, that's going to cost a fortune to fix. Where are we going to get the money? Think, Dougal, how can we raise some money? Hmm. Yes, mm. I know. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? I think so, Ted. Yes! <laughs> but now, wait, I'm not sure. <laughs> what? I mean, it is a big step, and uh, where are we going to get the guns? <laughs> what are you talking about? Oh, wait a minute now. Actually, I, I might have been thinking about something different. <laughs> you thought we were going to rob a bank, didn't you? I did, yeah. <laughs> well, Drew, this isn't a Bruce Willis film. I was thinking more along the lines of a raffle. What do we have as a prize, though? You've got me there, Ted. I think we can get something. Under the rules of the diocese, we're allowed a raffle prize every couple of years. It's not, Ted. <laughs> Look, we have to move them out of here. Uh, where's the thing? The thing for waking them up. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Father! Father, it's only us! Get your feck! Come on, Father, we're going to have to move you again. Drink! <laughs> Don't drink that, Father. No! It's fecking water! <laughs> and I've been looking up the records, and the island hasn't been given anything to raffle since those two bags of coal in 1964. Uh, I, I think we're entitled, uh, under the rules of the diocese... Oh, that'd be great. Oh, that's wonderful. Thank you very much, Your Grace. Yes, thanks again. Uh, uh, all right. Uh, bye, Bishop Brennan. Bye. No luck, then. <laughs> Lots of luck, Dougal. We're being given a car. A car? That's a brilliant prize, Ted. Oh, it's not that unusual. Father Finnegan got one last year. You know him, don't you, Dougal? The dancing priest. Dances for peace. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Is he still going? Oh, yes, indeed. He danced across America last year. New York to Los Angeles. He was mugged about once every 15 miles. <laughs> Great! We'll have the roof sorted out in no time. Did you hear that, Father? <laughs> ah, there you are. You wouldn't believe the day I had. You wouldn't. God, I met the rudest couple. And that fella Benson, with his bloody whistle blowing it all the time. Somebody should take it off him and... Anyway, where did you go off to? Oh, I went off with uh, Father Damo Lennon. He's over with Frosty. Who? Uh, Father Frost. Oh, yes. Father Frost. He said they might come over for a bit of a holiday. Father Damo's great. <laughs> Dude, why are you walking like that? Like what, Ted? Like a crab. All right. <laughs> Sorry, Ted. <laughs> Dougal, what's that? What? This? Oh, nothing. Dougal, it's an earring. Oh, right, it is all right, yeah. <laughs> Dougal, what's got into you? You can't go around wearing an earring. Ah, no, Ted, all the young priests are wearing them. Father Damo has one. Oh, I see. And did Father Damo give you the idea? Yeah, he's great. <laughs> what next? I suppose he'll be giving you crack cocaine or something. Crack cocaine? Ah, come on, Ted. <sighs> <laughs> well, you'll we'll have to take it out. Look, Ted, you don't know what's going on with the young people. Oh. I was young once. God, the things we used to get up to in the seminary. <laughs> Me and a bunch of the lads there, once we mitched off to see a Dana concert. <laughs> Dana. <laughs> no one's listening to Dana anymore. You'd want to be mad to listen to her. Oh, yeah. Father Bigley listens to Dana, and he's not mad. Why is he in that home, then? <laughs> he's in that home because, because of those fires, but that has nothing to do with Dana. <laughs> Anyway, you'll have to take that earring out. Oh, all right. But I should be allowed to do what I want, Ted. I am nearly 26, you know. You still treat me like I was 24. <laughs> I'll tell you what, Dougal. I'll start treating you like a 26-year-old when you start acting like a 26-year-old. Anyway, it's time for your bath. A bath? Oh, no! 